Are you a real estate investor feeling completely overwhelmed by all the strategies and tips and tricks that are just flying around all over social media? Trust me, I've been there. It can feel like you're just drowning in information. What if I told you that you're probably overcomplicating everything? That's right, I'm calling you out. Today, I'm going to share with you the one principle that helped me go from having no properties to owning over a thousand rental units. And it's a lot simpler than you think. So if you're ready to cut through the noise and focus on what really works, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to do to start seeing real results in your real estate journey. Let's do this. Plus stick around to the end and I'll share with you a great resource that will help you build your real estate empire and completely transform your life. Let's go. So you might think that you need several clever strategies like maybe Airbnb, uh, wholesaling, leasing flex space to e-commerce owners, flipping land, uh, doing student housing, whatever. It's a flood of ideas all at once. The reality is probably any one single one of those business ideas probably has merit, but you're dabbling in a few of them or maybe all of them. You think this multi-pronged approach is the best way to find your groove. My guy, this is not how it's gonna work. If you're struggling to find your angle right now, I want to encourage you to pick one discipline. When I write my next book, it's gonna be something like the power of one. I'm gonna capture this idea of one goal, one asset class, one niche, one market, one strategy. Do you see a theme developing here? The power of focusing on one thing is grossly underestimated. And I think people just don't get it. Like they're doing it all wrong. For some reason, humans are just naturally bad at focusing on one thing at a time. There is something about us that likes to juggle multiple things at once because the, our brain craves just this constant stimulation. We like the variety of it, I think. In today's age, we're especially prone to shiny object syndrome that's always chasing the next new thing. Because there's always some new personality on social media hyping up this new clever strategy. If only I could find the right strategy is what your, your brain thinks and you just look for this while you're scrolling through. But in real estate, there's really not a whole lot new going on. It's actually really quite a simple business. Short of Airbnb coming around about 15, 20 years ago, there's a not lot new happen. Effectively, all you're doing is buying a box and renting it out to somebody else. And there are a lot of different varieties of ways to do that, but you can't do them all. And it's really quite simple. You're just renting a rectangle. So if you want to succeed in real estate, really in any kind of business, focus on one asset class, one strategy, one market. Pick something simple, something you can really, really become good at. Remember the Bruce Lee quote, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. So don't get distracted by what other people are doing. You might be on the brink of striking gold with the current approach that you're doing but you gave up because you're not seeing immediate results. You're not willing to be the guy who does one kick 10,000 times because you know what, that's boring. There's another saying, I'm not sure who said it, but I'm sure it was somebody smart. The practice in private that you do away from the limelight will determine the success that you achieve in public. This is a very common mistake that business owners make. They work really hard at one strategy, start to get a little traction, but then it's not quite going fast enough and you think the grass is greener someplace else, but you end up quitting because you don't have the experience yet to understand that this is the what it takes to get things done. Alex Ramosi tells a really interesting story when he was first coming up about flyers when he was promoting one of his gyms. He put up 300 flyers and didn't get any leads. So he thought, you know what, flyers don't work. Then an experienced gym owner that he talked to said, oh, I put out 5,000 flyers to begin with. That's like my minimum. That's what I test with. And so the lesson that Alex learned was that he just wasn't doing enough. His test of 300 wasn't sufficient to actually give him enough information to find out if that was a viable way to market. So basically you're overthinking it. You're not willing to put in the 10,000 kicks. The 300 kicks probably sucked. You're just not working hard enough on one strategy to get really good at it. You're, you're quitting too soon. In real estate, your first 10, 30 offers probably aren't going to be accepted and most likely aren't going to be taken very seriously to begin with. So I hear this from my clients all the time. Every listing that I'm looking at, the seller is asking way too much. Okay, so how many listings have you looked at? Like uh, 10 or 15? Okay, 10 or 15, how many offers have you actually made on those properties? 
Mm, I don't know, one, maybe two. So, okay, wh over what time period have you made one or two offers by looking at 10 or 15 listings? For about the past six months or so, I guess. Bro, that is not gonna get it done. Oh. Something like 95% of listings are overpriced. You have to make a written offer with that price that works for you on really every single property that you reviewed. If you wanna own a property, make a written offer on it. Unless you've typed out a specific offer with numbers and sent it to the seller or broker in writing, it doesn't count as making a real offer. If you have the power to sit down and say, you know what, I'm going to pursue this goal and remove all distractions, then you can achieve almost anything. Focus on one strategy, one niche, one market, and one marketing strategy, and stick to that for at least six to 12 months. If your strategy isn't getting results, ask yourself, how long have I really been dedicated to doing this? Are you dabbling for two or three months? Are you really putting in the work? Even if it's six months or a year, have you truly dedicated yourself to doing it consistently? I'm guessing if you're not getting results that you haven't. If you talk to enough people for long enough, you will find a deal. Anything that's worth doing ends up taking way more effort than you think it should. Ask yourself, have I made 50, 100, even 500 written, and I mean remember, written offers? Then have you followed up with every person who said no? So three months after they said no to your offer, did you go back to them and say, how's it going? Have you given up on selling your property? The fortunes in the follow-up. Unless you're doing all that, then you haven't been doing the system. A lot of aspiring real estate investors need to wake up and understand how much effort it takes. Making money in this field is really not that hard if you stay focused and committed to doing one strategy consistently. And the strategy probably doesn't matter. I think most any approach, if done in enough volume for long enough, will eventually get you some results. I've had a similar problem myself, absolutely, but once I've decided to focus on one business model and choose a single market, choose one asset class, and I spent my time on one strategy, then over time, I got really good at it. And that's how I started making serious money. It took me several years, but it worked because I focused. I told you it, it was simple. It's still a lot of hard work, but the idea here is really very simple. And what's amazing is you could do this business to begin with, with just one hour a day. Take one hour out of your day, audit your time if you have to, and to make sure that you have one hour that's dedicated to making this business work for you. Then remove any distractions that take your attention away from building your real estate business and get to work. It's time to get down to the nitty gritty. Only one hour a day. Focus on one strategy during that one hour and stick to it like clockwork. You can follow our system of write five, call five. Do this every single day and then do 10 on Saturday and take Sunday off. So we say write a letter or text somebody five new property owners every day. And then you call, or if you're a millennial, call five property owners every day. And then you do 10 of those each on Saturday. If you do this consistently, good things will happen. I can't promise you how fast, but in all the years of helping people in this business, we've never seen anyone fail with this approach, provided that they kept at it. If you do this system and do it consistently, you can watch your pipeline of potential leads just fill up so much that you'll have to stop making phone calls. The power of one is what will get you from having nothing to reaching your goals but you have to select something, something specific. If you wanna know how to build and scale your real estate investing business, you can join our free Facebook community. We'll show you how to build your strategy, focus on one goal, one asset class, and how to select your market. This approach has changed the lives of hundreds of our clients over the years, and we'd like to do the same for you. But before you go, make sure and check out this next video. It might be something you need to know about making offers even better.